if you would like some really colourful plants in your garden, and particularly maybe at the front fence like this one, you can see all the cars going by, they've got one of those chain wire ugly fences with piping, and look at these colours. These are bougainvilleas. The only thing they won't tolerate is being looked after. These are just growing here, no one's watering them, they're not fertilising them, just letting them go. You can't see the ugly fence. Pollution from the cars doesn't worry them. They can go from sort of mid-pinks through these gorgeous tango shades. There's white varieties. Then there's the, the red ones, particularly things like, and you can't forget this one, Scarlet O'Hara. Love the white though. But then you can go off into purples. There's even lavenders and clear yellows. I mean, it's almost every colour that's ever been. And if you want a little tip, a lot of people, particularly us blokes, find it a bit difficult mixing colours. We often get it wrong. But if you just shove the lot together and then do a tropical garden, a few palm trees or something, it always looks good. It looks exactly like Bali or Thailand or Florida. Fantastic. Now these, they grow sort of temperate to warmish areas. This is Sydney. From Sydney to Cairns in Australia, they're perfect in Cairns. They're just wonderful, but neglect. If you fertilise these and water them, they produce lots of thorns, very few flowers, and they're nasty. If you ignore them and leave them alone, they get virtually no thorns, and they produce this range of colours. Now, see if you've been observant. Somebody sitting near you, what's the full colour range of the flowers of Bougainvilleas? Now, tell the person next to you, I suspect every single one of you will be wrong. The flowers on a bougainvillea are white. Every single bougainvillea that's ever flowered are flowers. You could say a creamy white. So what am I getting at? Well, the deep red ones have white flowers, the purple ones and the pink ones have white flowers. All of the colours, no matter what they are, all of the flowers are white. And then these little bits here are modified leaves. That's why the colour on bougainvilleas lasts for months. Gee, they're good plants. Green and gold, colours of Australia. Here's the thing. This is probably about 30 to 40 wattles. What am I getting at? The golden flowers on this with the green foliage probably last 30 to 40 times longer than any wattles flowers do. So think about it. If you like the green and gold, bougainvilleas.